Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time, John Cena! Well, ladies and gentlemen, last night, Cena took, he put up one hell of a fight last night against Braun Breaker. He came so close to winning the title that has eluded him for many years. The one title that he's never held or going after in WWE. Until he came up short and Braun Breaker defeated him. Ruthless aggression. I can't get any higher because I don't know ruthless aggression like I used to. I'm pathetic. Perhaps maybe I should just retire right now. I just walk out this ring right now and leave it at that. The thing is, I would if I was a quitter. You fail, you get knocked down, then you get right back up and try again. I told you. I'm not going anywhere until the end of this year. I got six more months to do what I want or what I need to do. Well, here's the man who outlasted 29 other superstars last night to win the 2025 Royal Rumble. The man who's going to finally achieve what he wants to achieve. The man who's going to finally accomplish his goal. The man who's going to main event WrestleMania 41. The straight edge human society. The best in the world. CM Punk. Ever since CM Punk returned to WWE, him and John Cena haven't, haven't crossed paths lately. They haven't crossed paths since 12 years ago. Johnny Boy, long time no see. I was watching your match last night, and can't help but say that maybe Randy and Braun are somewhat right. You don't know ruthless aggression like you used to. I don't know. All this coming from the same guy who walked out of here 11 years ago? Because he didn't get what he wanted, which, I'll admit, you did and still do deserve to main event WrestleMania. But my point is, you walked out of WWE because you weren't getting what you wanted. All that's coming from the same guy who complained about losing to The Rock at WrestleMania 28 until he got his way and faced The Rock again a year later and became an 11-time WWE Champion. But you want to talk about me complaining about not getting what I want. Yeah, I lost to The Rock at WrestleMania 28, and then avenged that loss a year later, as well as becoming an 11-time WWE Champion. But hold on, let's back up a little, cause... Yeah, I defeated The Rock on my second try, but what about you? You lost to The Rock on your first try as well, and when you invoked your rematch, I seem to recall you losing the chance to reclaim the WWE Championship. Look, Cena, I might have lost both times to The Rock 12 years ago, but it doesn't change the fact that last night, I won the 2025 Royal Rumble, and I'm finally going to achieve what I wanted to 11 years ago. Competing in the main event of WrestleMania 41. Hey, 
Remember when I defeated you to keep my WrestleMania spot? Well, what do you say we have a rematch from 11 years ago with the roles reversed? You mean... John Cena versus CM Punk in three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. Winner gets the main event spot at WrestleMania 41. In two weeks, me and Cena reunite a rivalry that hasn't been mentioned in 12 years. The last time me and Cena faced off against each other was February 25th, 2013. We gave everything to each other, and it ultimately came down to Cena pinning me and keeping his main event spot at WrestleMania 29. For years in WWE, I have never main evented WrestleMania. When I left and stayed away from this place for 10 years, all I can hear was a distinct voice telling me over and over, You're a quitter. I'm not a quitter. So I came back to achieve my goal and finish my story. Last year I was meant to main event WrestleMania 40, but I got injured in the Royal Rumble match. And I was forced to miss out a lot last year. Last Sunday, before I made my entrance in the Royal Rumble, I said, don't make the same mistake, and you will achieve your goal. I didn't make no mistake this year. I won the Royal Rumble, and I'm finally gonna main event WrestleMania. Now John Cena thinks he's gonna take my spot away that I've worked too hard and too long for. John, you gave everything you had to me 12 years ago to keep your spot. So don't be shocked if I give you everything I got to keep my main event spot at WrestleMania 41. CM Punk said it earlier tonight, at the Elimination Chamber in two weeks, we reunite a classic from 2011 to 2013. Me and CM Punk have had some pretty intense battles at that time. Like the time when he beat me in his hometown and left with the WWE Championship. But perhaps my favorite battle we had is... When we faced each other with the winner going to the main event of WrestleMania 29. Which was the last time we faced off against each other. I ended up defeating CM Punk to keep my main event spot at WrestleMania. While Punk ended up leaving WWE a year later for 10 years. Then he came back with one goal set in mind. Main Eventing Wrestlemania 
Now, I can't speak for CM Punk, but I can say that I do understand his goal and why he really wants to do it. When you main event WrestleMania, it's like a dream come true. It's a big moment for main eventing the grandest stage of them all. CM Punk wants that dream come true. I mean, don't we all? But sometimes, dreams only come true to those who are patient. CM Punk never got to fulfill his dream when he wanted to until now. Now, CM Punk is going to finally achieve his goal if he can get past me in two weeks. I feel that CM Punk is too impatient about main eventing WrestleMania. Good things comes to those who wait, Punk. You won the Royal Rumble last Sunday, congratulations for that. But right there is where you got impatient. Winning the Royal Rumble is not the only way to guarantee a main event WrestleMania spot. My point right there is, you got greedy. And I'm going to show you how I deal with greedy people on a regular basis. Take this steel chair and hit me right across the back with it. Do it! <laughs> 